Hello, everybody, and welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation. This is Portal Dungeon, a 2D action platformer roguelite that I'm excited to be checking out the 1.0 release for here today. Let's pop on in and see what the game is all about. It does have up to four-player co-op. We're going to be playing single-player here today. Looks like we got maybe different characters potentially here. Warrior, archer, mage. I mean, let's go for an archer. Arrow that does 100% damage to the target. Fire your bow five times. Charge and fire a massive penetrating arrow. Jump forward and shoot three arrows into the enemy's rear. <laughs> okay. I'm into it. Pull the bow upwards and cascade down arrows. We've got different skins, it looks like, that have different... Okay. Unlockable, basically, subclasses, more or less. But I'm going to pick this for now. Clearly, we've got a lot of stuff to unlock. It is a roguelite, meaning that there is lots of stuff for us to upgrade. Customize game. I'll keep it at what it is for now. And this is just where we can change stuff. That's our... Okay, that's our dash move. All right, we got no points. I think let's just... Uh, don't forget to choose every time when, like I do. Okay. Let's just head into the portal for now and see what's up. Okay. All right. In we go, man. Those mushrooms are very bouncy. Like, you could just step on them. Those mushrooms. You said that like there was uh, some around. Okay. This feels like a, you know, like an old uh, browser MMO. Something like that, you know? But, like, the fact that it's gonna... Okay, I do like that we can shoot through the walls. That does help. So, I'm immediately noticing, like, a risk of rain. Especially, like, one style vibe going on here. It does feel really... I don't know, it feels surprisingly <laughs> nice for what's going on here. Okay, so how much money was that, uh, that thing back there? Do we have a dodge? Not necessarily. 58, where do I see my money? 170, okay. We should have enough to open it. Increase the number of skill uses. Okay. Skill is which one? It said two. Oh, it's E, I can see here. That's my piercing arrow. All right. Hello there, mister. I do like the uh, the backwards piercing uh, shot on our whoop, shift. Oh, baby. Why does it actually feel so good? Attack speed decreases by 10%. Okay, I'm assuming that that's... Oh, wait, and no, and skill damage decreases by 10%. Never mind. I was going to say that maybe this is a game where it's attack cooldown. 10% chance to throw a battle blade. It causes base damage. Crit damage up by 10% when the character's in the air. Let's go for this. Just throw that up into space. It'll hit somebody. What we got here? When jumping, create a shockwave that'll be generated to collide with the enemy, dealing base damage. I do know that there's some kind of, like, timer going on up top. And we will cross that bridge when we come to it, right? I'd like to get another shift, or like an ability to run faster would be absolutely lovely. Do it, do it. When hitting a target, there's a chance to stun, make you invulnerable for three seconds, attack speed is double for the duration. Oh, that's an active ability, gotcha. Uh, you know what, that sounds good. Oh, walked right up into it though. Hello there, mister. We got some kind of crystal on the ground. I'll take it. So Q is our active. Attack speed gets doubled during that. Increase the number of jumps by one. Movement speed. I, Oh, I want that so bad. So that's our invulnerability and stuff. Okay. It does look like money kind of just gets auto-picked up, which I do greatly appreciate. <laughs> I started aiming. <laughs> then I had to find a target. All right, a little bit of extra movement speed is definitely handy here. But I don't know, this, this just feels like one of the most game games I've ever gamed in, like, a long while. It's the kind of one where, like, I guess normally, no surprise, you know, for fans of the channel, I'm usually not, like, a meta progression guy. This is kind of the game where, like, a game where it sort of feels like it makes sense. Increase the number of skills, four skill uses by one each. So that's my ult. I haven't even used it yet, because I haven't... I've never been in a situation... This is not a gloat. I've not been in a situation yet where I felt like I needed to ultimate to get out of it. Alright, we got healthy man. 
But yeah, it's almost like a, a mix of, what was it, like Rogue Lands and Risk of Rain is kind of what I'm feeling, sort of. Uh, that's a new active. Jumping Shockwave when attacking, there's a chance to trigger Sword Energy. Causes 80% base damage. What does that mean? Trigger Sword Energy. I'm just gonna get it and find out. Is a Sword Energy something that shows up in front of me? Okay. We'll find out. We got another one. Or is that a different sword? Out we go. Elite. Is there like a... The Shadow Assassin will attack after 35 seconds. So that's clearly something to influence us to leave sooner. But is that per level or is that like what? We'll find out. I hope it's... Uh, I hope it's per level. It is indeed. Hello there, you. Here, you get my... My first ult directed at an enemy. Yeah, it's definitely more of an AoE. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Get over here. I see you hiding there, Rock. It covers lots of ground, but it's really not going to be for a, a single target kind of a scenario. Unsurprisingly. Whoop. You there, gang? I do like my piercing arrow a hell of a lot. Nice. Okay, so I do want to get those, but what do we have? When hitting a target, chance to cause bleeding, resulting in 100% base damage per second. Increase crit damage when you're in the air. When you don't move... Nope. Not interested. Yeah, a lot of these items feel very, very risk of rain, but... I do like this uh, this format. I don't know. This, whoop, this take on it. It feels nice. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Whoop. Okay, we get an... Are you like a... It's like a loot goblin. Oh, he still does contact damage. Okay. His, he's got absolutely bonkers movement patterns going on. I don't know if I can get him, man. Okay, he's... He chases me down like a son of a gun. I wanted to... See if I could at least get a little bit of extra magic. He's getting out of here, man. I'm hating you. He's faster than I am. That that's the hang-up, man. He is faster than I am. Uh increase shield value by 100 percent Okay. A lot of money to get this upgrade here. That, that's going to be a tough one to get the hang of right there. The uh, the teleport and then shoot backwards business. Okay. So this was an elite area, I guess. It's worth noting. Well aimed. So I guess we have that to keep in mind. It seems like enemies are generally like mostly uh, just more healthy. I was trying to teleport past. Yeah, that one is so awkward to aim. Because it goes to your mouse, which makes sense, but then it's also like you teleport back there. Phantom sword skill when casting a... S okay. Go time without taking damage. Leave me alone. I'm trying to read here. Stored shield. Let me read, dude. Burst does 100% base damage. Can bounce three times. Sure. We do need to make a move. Survive for two minutes without performing normal attacks. That sounds like something I don't want to do. Oh, wait. And it, it, we immediately lost it. It's not something you can just start doing at any time. If you walk through the door and you fire something, you're out of luck, man. Oh, that felt nice. Oh, that felt good. Getting the hang of it a little bit. Okay. I think we got to keep on moving. We do have our invincibility thing that we got to use a little bit more as well. Now, let's just do it right now. Okay. Is there a... Do we got, like, a map? I'm sure we probably do. Just don't know where it is right now. Uh-oh, I'm stuck. Whole bunch of stuff here. 
Whoop. I do love that we don't have to actually like go back and pick up gold. That feels way better. Baseball bat when hitting a target, there's a chance to knock him back. That actually sounds really, really nice for us. I'm just going to go ahead and say yes to it. Okay, back it up. What if I uh, hit him with the call down from space? Used to draw items from the vending machines and stores, increase movement speed. I I'm going to go for it. I just, like, I really do feel like I need to move just a bit faster. Okay, get everybody over here. Okay, I'm going invincible mode. Mm. Samurai sword. I feel like I guess I kind of want to stop going for random. Consumes 5% of max HP every blank. Whoa! Okay, so that's the, uh, that's clearly the shadow assassin. We gotta get moving. Get out of here. You can't attack me here now, can you? I'm afraid that he can, so I'm just gonna go. We don't have very much money for a shop, unless a shop is uh, different than I would expect. Increase your damage taken by 15% here, and your luck goes down by two. Okay, kill 15 elites and don't use equipment. Equipment has gotta be my cue. I mean, I, I suppose I can do that. I'm trying to hit at least another enemy with that. Oh my god! Got caught there for a second. Okay, we can wiggle back and forth to get out of that a little bit quicker. Come check out my new items. Uh, uh, dude, give me a minute! Not right now. Dude, I wish it would pause. Blast him. Alright, leave me alone. A biochemical avatar. Are these like meta? I don't have... Oh, okay. I only have one of those. That or I just purchased a bunch of them. I Nope. Okay. <laughs> that move does a lot of damage. It's just hard to line up right. Without killing yourself. Whoop. Oh, there's that slime up there. Or a rock. Okay. You get out of my face. Get out of my face. Crit in the air. Throws a phantom sword when casting a skill. Doing base damage. Shield generator. We go five seconds without taking any damage. Restores five shield. Uh, I guess I'll go for some of that. I feel like I need some survivability. Especially if I'm going to be in this zone where we... I can't use my ability. Whoop. Yeah, you thought you were safe. You thought you were safe. Think again. 280. It is interesting. If I, uh, okay. Oh, boy. If I can afford the 280, I should probably just go for the thing that looks like it's a fancier item. Yeah, I teleported what I thought was past that guy, but it seemed like no. Movement speed increased by 50%, but the character can't stop moving. <laughs> I guess I'll go for the stun that's, in a way, that's going to be survivability, especially, like, since we have that uh, rapid-fire attack. Okay, this is an elite, I'm pretty sure. We need three more. Three more elites without using equipment to get some kind of benefit. That system is really clever. After blank seconds, the uh, upgrade is whoop, cut down a little bit. Yeah, I just, the, um, that teleport move does not work how I want. It's not bad, it's just sticky bomb when hitting an enemy. I mean, that is just straight up, that is just straight up risk of rain. Whoop. Okay, that is, a, we got a lot of sticky bombs. Okay, sticky bomb seems great for us. Do our arrows ever stop? Seems like they might not. Running out of time. Okay. And we just start. We got to start moving. 
Okay, so we do still have to pick up these purple things, which I think are just gonna be like a meta currency for back home. Baseball bat. It's a little bit of knockback. I don't mind that. I wouldn't mind another sticky bomb at this point. What the hell? That's my uh, that's my reward. Okay, so doing those is super useful. Eat three of your own items at random. Decrease your base damage by 20 points. I'll do it. Got rid of one of my sticky bombs. That's kind of sad. Okay, but my base damage went up by a super noticeable amount. 45 seconds, or 42 seconds. 40 seconds, so I'm out. I do want the sticky bomb. Are there any more enemies? I like this as a, uh, as a system to encourage you to get the hell out. Instead, I guess there's not that much more. It's like, there's only a finite amount of enemies. Uh, I need one more. Oh, God. There we go. All right, get, get moving. I really want that sticky bomb, right? Chance to use a poison cloud when you jump. I could take some random items instead. Okay, I'm worried about the shadow assassin, but I also don't know what this thing is. Oh, that's right, okay. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 I want the sticky bomb. Okay, especially since I lost the other one. I don't know what any of this stuff is, but I can't really go. Okay, I do know what the shield generator is. Abundant elites, escape from exploding monsters and don't get hit. Okay, I got it. Get... Do those get exploded? Survive for two minutes without performing normal attacks. Escape from exploding monsters and don't get hit. Oh my god. That sounds terrible. I'm in. Truly sounds wretched. Oh god. Don't get hit is not gonna... That ain't gonna happen unless I play like an absolute baby. Woo, that's some health on that man. Maybe with some Metaprog we won't be, uh getting smacked so much. Maybe there is a kind of like, um, Risk of Rain style, like, slow difficulty scaling system going on since I'm taking a while. I, it's hard to say. I mean, these guys are just... They're gonna have a bad time. Well, What is this? Cursed item? Flying Slime Companion has a strength of 600% of the character's base stat. Cool. Uh, bye guys. It'd be cool if I knew there's so many of these. And they're all so tanky. I should have moved a little bit more to do that, but. Okay, okay. Huh. Come on, man. They're so beefy! In a way, I hope this is because of meta progression, because otherwise, if this is just how it is, that'd be pain. It's the elites that really are taking so long. But it's like, it's that coupled with the fact that I'm not really in danger. Like, not, not yet. Like I can be. Whoop. But they're kind of just sitting there. And they're taking a long time to do it. But we're getting we're getting there. When I get rid of the elites and I just got these fools, it feels great. Alright, what do we got? Chance to stun. We are now in a spot where we actually could have an enemy move towards us. Whoop. And just kidding. Can I get an item that, like, does percentage health damage or something? I'm gonna be, uh, screwed over by the amount of time I have left. We gotta keep on moving to the side. It's the best thing I got going on for me. Alright. Save the alt. Save the alt. Get in there. Oh, you jerk. Blast him, stun him. Pop him, lock him. 
face kaboom. It's just the thing is I can't get hit either. Oh god. Leave me be! You leave me be, you health lord! That's gonna get me killed. Alright, as soon as this shadow assassin shows up, I'm probably like screwed anyways. Oh, well, there it is. That wasn't a hit? Okay, maybe just go. Oh, shoot. I would prefer the other item. I want to go back for it. Are you kidding me? Get out of my face. Apparently, I didn't get hit. Seems wrong. I guess, do these guys just, like, teleport me? Is that... Is that a thing? They don't do damage? Sure, surely that can't be it. Shadow Assassin's here in 47 seconds. Chance to throw a battle blade. Do I have enough money for that? I don't even have enough money for that. Throw the alt out. Ah, bad alt, bad alt. Not that bad of an alt. Oh my god, leave me be! Free me! Uh, nope, 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 nope. I have no idea what's going on there, but it sounds, it seems bad. But then it saves me, so. Let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out, let me out. Go, 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 I can sneak under. That ain't good. Uh, they keep on getting teleported away and it's super confusing, but I'll take it. The Shadow Assassin's here. Keep moving. We get a free item if we make it to the end, but is it worth it? At what cost? Honestly, right now the cost is uh, I don't have to be around these guys that, uh-oh, have a seeming million amount of health anymore. I don't know, dude. I don't know where the exit is. We're gonna be destroyed by the Shadow Assassin if he comes over here and gets with- Why are there so many guys? Why are there so many? Am I- Have I lived too long, game? What have I done? Sure. Go. Go. My god. I don't know what happened there. Oh, cool. King of Slimes. I kind of want to go just invincible, get inside him and just blast. Okay, go, 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 go. I will say I cannot um, get higher up. Ah, he does a... Gotcha. Are those hitting me? Like, I don't... I'm going to need to do a dash to get up there. This is... Okay, this is wild. There we are, we're, we're safe. Safe for a second. Never mind. He can just, he can just kind of do that. He crazy mode, man. I did it. I don't deserve it. When shield drops to 50%, 500% of the damage of the current shield will be deducted from the maximum shield. What? Okay. Shield recovery is also increased. Holy cross. All right. When attacked, there's a 33% chance of triggering Ball of Holy Light surrounding you with three balls. When three balls are collected, explosion in the shape of a cross will be triggered doing a thousand percent base damage. What? I feel like the game wants me to have uh, been dead by now. That's the feeling in my heart. Okay, the phantom sword. I do like the idea of the phantom sword. It is dark. Okay, these guys feel a lot. Whoa! Uh. Noida? I'm gonna go ahead and pause this for a second, change some audio. The music is getting loud. Er. Whoop. And then it started to get quieter, anyways, by itself. 
Okay, so that guy has multiple segments. Good to know. Snipe that man out of the air. Whoa! The cross happened? Some kind of like... Is that a worm? Can I kill it? It's a little something-something I can actually kill. That's good. Oh god, I hate these guys. Crits have a 20% chance to summon a tornado. Chance to cause bleed. I, I'm going for it. Yeah, I hear you. Oh god, the music keeps on getting... Keeps on coming back. Getting louder and louder. Instead of punish HP and number of skills, it's on cooldown. Chance to make them explode. I mean, I've, you know, I know that item. That worm is hard counter. There's so much. This level is basically like surprise, jerk. The the level. Get the shield generator, I suppose. I cannot get up there. I'm hoping that there's going to be a way to get up there. Level up. No idea what the uh, benefit of this level was, like what kind of upgrade we had. I don't know if there was one. That might only be for elites. Uh, is there fall damage? Is that what's happening? What? I keep on getting hit by by something like random. That might be a that might be a good effect. That one right there. Golden Slime is actually the toughest thing. HP regen up. That sounds great, because I don't think I have any. Every once in a while, I take a little tiny random hit from God knows what. I'm thinking it's something on the ground. But if that's the case, I do not like that. That? Is it that guy? Surely not. I mean, it could be. Is it whatever that uh, that fire orb coming from nowhere? This guy coming from nowhere? Which thing coming from nowhere is it? Nothing up there? Cool. When casting skills, 25% chance of summoning three phantom sword projectiles. Get... Alright. Seems good. It does just seem like there's just maybe some random, like, landmines on the- That- ah, God, I don't like that enemy. It comes out too fast to be anything but, like, extremely annoying. Like, I get it has a tiny little notifier. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say, it's not enough to not be annoying in a dark cave level. Whoop. Can we not? Can- can- can we not? It's the spikes on the ceiling that look like they're part of the environment. They just... That just looks like a... Oh my god, that is... They do not look menacing enough. Chance to summon a tornado on crits. Yeah, this zone is filled with some... A lot of things that I am not a fan of. 500 bucks, we do. Get the sticky bomb. Whoop. There's our level. I mean, I'm gonna have to get out of here, but we're still in this zone. I mean, like, should I check the shop? I'm gonna see. Just, I don't have that much money, but I want to see what a shop looks like. Charms. Then it's an active. Gotcha. Baseball bat does sound nice. Using a skill, 33% chance of activating a clone that casts the same skill. That's super fun. Wait, what? Use my gems to upgrade this. Is this permanent? I don't know if it's like a... If it's a permanent increase, that's super cool. Also, I like that the system exists here. What is... I'm assuming... Spend 20 purple coins to remove items and get... And get items of the same quality. Sure. I mean, like the sneakers. When you use equipment, I don't, I'm not using equipment that much. 
Oh, that worked out well. I don't know. Is there anything else for cooldown reduction? Sure. I need to use that more. I do like the baseball bat. What's this? Random treasure chest. Chance for knockback sure sounds good. Ooh. Very expensive chest with lottery. You don't have any exchange vouchers. Gotcha, gotcha. So that's what that's all for. Escape from exploding monsters and don't use equipment. I could do that. Uh, max HP up by 10%, reduce all damage by 5%, reduce the amount of gold coins obtained. I mean, that's just like, that's all bad. Uh, okay. Trap appears, increase skill, cool dance. So those traps, those were, that was a modifier. Gotcha. I don't like those. But do I like it as much as I like max HP going up by 10% on all enemies and I do less damage? That sounds like hell. Traps appear. Don't use equipment. Traps appear. Reduce, reduce max HP by 5%. Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Oh, you sons of guns. It's these boys again. They have so much space health, but we are doing like a bit more now. Okay, so don't use my equipment. No problem. Oh, that was not what I meant to do. Woo! We got a lot of stuff kind of happening now. Watch out for the traps. Oh, boy. I really feel like they've just got so much health, just at a base. It's just this... I must have done last time it was uh, an HP upgrade or something. Must have been, right? I refuse to believe anything else. I don't remember which one that is. That was a mistake. We're gonna have to do some sneaky maneuvering. Woo! Ah, that's the exploding, that's right. Checks out. There's a trap there. I mean, if the trap could hit the enemies too, that'd be kind of fun. Huh. No! Not like this! I should use- I'm using it to do more DPS just because these guys are taking so long to kill. Alright. Oh god. Oh. No! Oh, no! 69 damage! I missed the platform. Alright. Just keep spawning. Are these exploding monsters? Is that like the thing? Like, do they just grab me and then it, they explode? they not do, like, actual damage on hits? Because I do feel like I should have been hit by them before. Got at. Alright, I'm out of here. Screw y'all. Stupid freaking things on the ceiling. Get out! Get out! Yeah, that's what it is. Go. So they grab you in place. If you can mash out quick enough, it's actually not too bad. So these must just be the exploding monsters, I guess. So they're always going to be the same. It feels like it won't be great for replayability. I don't know what hit me there. I'm going to be real. Chance of summoning Ice Blade when you cast a skill. Get out! That was, that was a close one. It blows them up, too, for what it's worth. Baseball bat. I feel like I need more damage. I'm out of money. Heave -ho. Let's try something. Does, does it kill them? Do I get money? I don't get money when they, they leave. So that is the trade-off there. They go away, but then you don't get the money. It's weird. I don't know how I feel about them. 
at the very least, I feel like it's a bit too, um... It happens a bit too... Uh-oh. Much if we've already seen it twice in a row. Get in my face. And there's just so many of them. Ow. Get out of here. Oh! Dang it. Go, oh, cheese it. I don't, we're running out of time, man. Oh my. Spikes down there. We need to, what is hitting me? What hit me? For real, what hit me? Is it this traffic? Like, is that doing something? Like, you can't take any time to look anywhere else. Oh god. God, oh god, oh god, oh god. Watch out for the traps. Watch out for the traps. I mean, I, I am gonna need to get out of here. Yeah, and there's the shadow ninja, man. And we're surrounded by traps, and there's explodey boys. Okay, get the hell out of this hell hole! I don't even know what that was, but I'm gonna take it. Go, 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 go. Anywhere, unknown. Oh! What is this? Oh. That can't be good. Can I actually walk... <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Something tells me that is not like a here you go, welcome to the game kind of a thing. Unlocked at talent level 30. Okay, let's look at some of this stuff. Uh, requires blue coins to unlock poisoning effects. Bounce off walls. So, do we? I wonder if we pick one of those, though. There's the statue. That's who we just died to. Attack speed increased by up to 20%, it looks like, when killing an enemy. Okay, so there's like a, there's a lot of stuff here. Experience gain increases gold. One, uh, plus one every time you get gold. Yeah, it, it's like, it's very much a grind it game. Give you a random item each time you explore. Every upgrade gives you a higher chance of getting rarer stuff. Like, it's kind of like the shop or the, uh, the whatever, the home base here is feeding me, like, incremental game vibes mixed with a roguelike, you know? So this is, um... Straight up new items that gotta be added to the pool. When you go foe more than three seconds without attacking, never gonna happen. So yeah, you can unlock more items there. What is this about? These are achievements. Go to the secret level. Oh. Alright. Oh, wait. Do I have a new character? I think I might even have two. I think I saw, I saw Engineer and something else. I guess it's just the Engineer. Fires ammo that deals 100% damage to the target. Throws a sticky grenade, which sticks to the target for three seconds. Explodes. So how do you unlock skins? By doing these achievements. Maybe I unlocked his skin. Elven Archer. Two skill fires... Fires three arrows at a time. Which one was the two skill? Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me just select this for a second. That's the two skill. So it goes zero, one, two. Gotcha. I mean, that's pretty cool. So that's just like kind of almost a subclass and each one of these have a bunch of them. That is, this is, I gotta admit, it's super cool. Again, on record, this this needs to be said. This says a lot. I am not a meta progression guy at all. This game is very cool. I, I can attest that it feels right in this game. This feels like a game where you just play with your friends and you can grind out like uh you know the incremental game but you play you are playing a roguelike together in kind of a risk of rain game it does a lot of things uh that shakes up the risk of, i mean from that, does some things that shake up the risk of rain one formula that in my opinion i like better um and 
there's a couple of decisions here and there that I think are a little bit rough as far as like those modifiers for those teleporting enemies, things like that. It's going to make things feel very samey if that's going to be in every zone, but it's hard to, it's hard to say for sure right now. Let's see. Throw a sticky grenade. Summon some landmines. Summon a little drone. Put down turrets. I really like the idea of this character right here, but... Uh, so... Experience gain seems like a pretty logical thing to put a bunch of points into. How many points do we have? We have... We have one more. Healing amount increase. Cooldown reduction. Based attack. Attack power. Attack speed increase. Eh. Don't matter. I mean, experience gain seems like a logical thing to grab. Uh, this uses up blues? It's, I, it's unclear to me right now what they're using. It is using blue. Okay, it says, like, that's what I thought. It's because it's above your head. This one was just the, the glossary. This is monsters. Okay, so this is kind of like where you learn it, learn the game. This is where you add stuff to the pool. I feel like there isn't, you know, kind of learning what the hell everything was in the first place anyways. But yeah, so there's that. Can unlock a couple new skills. Heals 0.5 of nearby ally HP per second. Four units at a time with half power. I mean, that's still really good. So I do want to know, is that something I have to pick? This is out of curiosity, just like, do I have to pick or is that just what that is now? Seems like that's kind of just what it is now. Nope, you have to pick. Okay. All right. I, I got the cards on the table. I really like that you have to pick. It kind of like makes you specialize. So that was for science that we did that there. We're learning lots of intel. So the altar will inc give you a random item each time you explore. There's so much, man. There's so much. I guess we'll just... Let's get this up to the uh, the next level. All right. Uh, I'm not going to do another run, but like very quickly, I, I do want to pop in and see what this looks like. Oh, okay. So straight up, yeah. Attack speed increased. Whoop. I mean, sticky grenades. So these are landmines, yeah? They gotta be. Yep. And we, of course, have a turret. Gotta be real, this class seems so much better. And I also feel like, I feel so, so much stronger already. And I've barely changed anything that has to do with um, actual increases for myself. Well, uh, I gotta admit, game's really neat. I, I really do, uh, I really enjoy it. Let's return to the village here though. I, honestly, it wouldn't be hard to convince me to play more of this game. I, it will be real. It could be a lot of fun with some co-op and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, I, th I think it's a really good take on combining some things that normally I'm not a huge fan of, and when mashed together, I really like this package. I think it's a really compelling package. It's out now on Steam. It is normally 13 bucks. It's on sale for 20% off if you get it uh, until August 1st, it looks like. But hey, there's also a demo on Steam. Like I said, you can play with four-player co-op. Alas, alas, my name is Retromation. Cover any games every single day with an extra specialty in roguelikes and roguelites. If that is something you are into, this is a channel that you should be subscribed to. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.